A ribbon-cutting ceremony celebrated the completion of Frederick County's new Crisis Stabilization Center. The walk-in crisis care center at 340 Montevue Lane will soon be a crucial resource for individuals struggling with mental health and substance use challenges. The center, operated by the Mental Health Association, provides 24-7 care by licensed professionals, peer support, and navigators. The center was made possible with substantial financial support, including contributions from federal grants, a Maryland state grant, and American Rescue Plan Act funds. We're really excited to be able to cut the ribbon on this new 24-7 crisis care center in partnership with the Mental Health Association. They're going to be opening their doors to the public soon, and it's it's really hard uh, to find even the words to just say what it's going to mean to go from their current hours to being truly being able to do 24-7. We know that when someone is in crisis, we need to make sure that there is somebody there to meet them where they are in that moment, and having this opportunity here in Frederick County first time is just a really, it's a good day. Uh, we've been working on this for a long, long time, and it all started with County Executive Jan Gardner and followed up by County Executive Jessica Fitzwater, working as a team uh, to really address the needs that are just so apparent uh, throughout Frederick, Frederick County, but also our whole country. Uh, so we got this first appropriation earmark back in fiscal year 22. We got more money in 23. But the key is it's been local, state, and federal working as a team together to try and help folks in need in mental health addiction, mental health and substance use addiction. Aimed at relieving pressure on first responders and hospitals, the center will play a vital role in delivering essential community-based mental health services. Frederick County Executive Jessica Fitzwater and City of Frederick Mayor Michael O'Connor hosted a community meeting to discuss the West Frederick Library Project. Located at Hillcrest Park, this new library branch will be the city's first library outside of the downtown area. At the meeting, residents voiced their opinions about the chosen site and traffic in the area. A six-month feasibility study is set to start in October, with the library's design and construction timeline still pending. Frederick County Public Schools kicked off the academic year on August 23rd with excitement. County Executive Jessica Fitzwater and School Superintendent Dr. Cheryl Dyson toured some Frederick County Public Schools, witnessing students' enthusiasm firsthand. Today was just such an exciting day, having the opportunity to see kids excited to come back to school and seeing teachers engaging kids in active learning right away. Already doing projects, working together, and just getting kids excited about being back to school. I have spent many first days of school on the teacher side, and so it was a little bit bittersweet, but also really exciting just to see all the enthusiasm for the first day. I think it's important to be out in schools on the first day. I like to feel the energy of the students. I like to check on the staff and see if I can help in any way. And I also think it helps to contribute to just a positive start. So it's always important for me to be amongst the children and the staff um, because I'm here to serve them. So it's nice to be out in the schools. And if I can help in any way, it's also nice to have extra hands to do so. Welcome back students, teachers, and staff to another year of learning and growth in Frederick County. Frederick County government participated in the Maryland Association of Counties Summer Conference at Ocean City's Roland Powell Convention Center last month. Thousands of leaders from various levels of government and the private sector convened to address pressing policy issues, including workforce recruitment, affordable housing, and early childhood education. Frederick County Council Member M.C. Keegan Eyre serves as secretary on the Maryland Association of Counties Board of Directors. Let's hear from her about the conference. This MAKO was different from other MAKOs because, number one, we had more than 300 additional people than we have ever had in the past. So one of the reasons that it's so important that our county officials uh, attend these um, conferences not just for the connections that they make and the, uh, the, the relationships that they build, but the MAKO staff works incredibly hard to put together these educational sessions. So they had four days of sessions, little mini classes that you could attend, 
everything from classes that teach you good government, but it also, they had classes on things like um, the opioid epidemic. The conference provided a platform for exchanging insights, influencing legislation, and shaping local governance strategies.